Today I'm going to explain you how we can create an app from an Excel file in Power Apps. I'll show you two methods on this. In the first method, I'll show you how we can create an app from an Excel file by using the data source as a wonder for business or a SharePoint document library. Meaning we will create a, a Excel file and then we'll store in wonder for business and from there we will uh, create the app. The second method I will show you where we are using an Excel file and it will in behind the scene it will create an app, uh, sorry create a table in the Dataverse. So if you have Dataverse license then definitely that option you can you should consider also using it. In that case it will create uh, a table in the Dataverse. So I will show you both the methods step by step uh, in the laptop as well. If you are new to the channel, my name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP. And if you want to learn SharePoint, then check out our training course. I will put the link in the video description. You can have a look at it. So now let's go to the system and then we will see step by step how we can create an app from an Excel file in Microsoft Power Apps. We will see now how to create an app from an Excel in Power Apps. So I'll show you uh, two different ways, as I said. But first, let's go to the Excel file. So you can see here, I have an Excel file having name, uh, email address, mobile number, uh, training course name, feedback. So basically, I'm trying to create a feedback graph for the training courses. And for that, I have just taken these columns and I have added some records into this. So now this is a raw file. And in this, you can now, first of all, we need to format this little bit. What you can do here is I will select everything. So I just, uh, you know, uh, enter shape and then I selected from here to here, basically, uh, the reports and uh, with the header as well. So what I'll do now here is you can see there is an option which is in a format as table. Click on that and then you can select any format and look at this table so it is showing me from here to uh, the last uh, 31 row um, i'll select this option my table has headers so the first name email mobile uh, training course name and feedback i want these things to be treated as headers so i just head out and then click on uh, uh, okay so now if you will see here then you see there is a table it is asking table one so you can change this name also for uh, I might say is uh, let's say feedbacks something like this okay so I have taken this uh, table name also I changed it so now uh, we are done with the customization that we required for uh, this particular excel so it is done now I have saved in the desktop now I'll open the uh, you know a browser and in this case I will navigate uh, to OneDrive first of all so why OneDrive because we want to upload that file here so uh, you can go to click on add new and then uh, you know files upload and uh, you select the file here so in the so here I let me just yeah you can see here training feedback is the excel file and then click on OK. So once you click on OK, this will be on my fi my files. So if you see here my files, then uh, here the last one you can see it here. The last file is training feedback. Now once the file is there, so now we have the file is there. So what I'll do now is I'll open make dot dot com. So you see here I went to make dot dot com. And uh, here now you can see few options on this. Uh, so what we will do from uh, particularly in this case is uh, you can see here click on create and then uh, you can see here there is an option which is saying that Excel start from an Excel file to create a three screen app. So click on that and then once you click on that you can see it here it is uh, uh, opening this uh, you know studio uh, before that you need to make a connection to this now what connection you required uh, since our file is in OneDrive for business I required a OneDrive connection you can see it here I have already created it if you are starting from the you know first time or something then uh, click on plus new connection and from here you can get OneDrive so once you have it uh, so if you'll just see here, OneDrive for business is there, right? So you can select this and then it will, uh, you know, click on create. So um, 
then it will ask you to uh, you know have the credential and all these things so once you have it then the connection will be made this is very important right so i'll just replace it once and you can see this one so once you, once i select this one now you look at here i have the files here you can see training feedback and if you look at here the last one right so i select this the moment i select this it is asking me choose a table and if you remember our excel we have created one table which is the feedbacks table i select this and click on connect so once i click on connect now you can see it here it and this is going to be a fully fleshed working app so once we run it you will be able to see so whatever operation you will do you, you the data will be saved in the uh, you know the file in the OneDrive for business so now you can see here i'll just make a little bit bigger you can see now so now in the left side you can see there is a browse screen one detail screen one edit screen one play this app you can click on this preview the app and you can see it here right so uh, you can uh, search for it for example you can see it here i searched and then you can see it uh, return me the record and also if i'll select any record it 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 can show me the details of that particular record i can uh, delete from here i can edit from here if i'll click on edit you can see here um, the edit thing uh, happening here same way also you can uh, you know go to any screen uh, for example here i'll go again and then you see the other options that they are sort i um, mean alphabetically this records you can click on new so new item will be added so this is a fully functional app and anything uh, you will do it here and the changes will reflect over here because the data source here in this case this excel file which is there in my onedrive so now this is one way of creating uh, a app um, now you can save this app so you can see here uh, for feedback something i'll give a name um, then click on save so now the app has been created here I can see here I am now at make.powerapps.com and this is the app that uh, which he created. The other way I will show you how we can uh, do this is uh, you can see here there is an option which is saying start with data. So once you click on start with data you have some other options are available here. You can see create new tables, select existing table um, and then connect to an external data source. So, uh, though this option you will see it here this is uh, for data words i'll select this option create new tables and once you click on this uh, then we have a uh, different options it is uh, asking us you can see here import an excel or file or csv file you can see this option so once you click on this you can see here it is saying me to drag and drop a file so i'll select this i will uh, take this again same uh, file training feedback which we created and you can see it here so it is taking some time and then um, you can see it here right so now the excel and uh, this is the uh, you know the excel file that we created and you can see the data here also you can see view data you will be able to see the data here now you can see it here and if you want you can change it from here as well uh, but you can see now it is uh, everything is imported from that excel file uh, to the system and then i you can see in the top there is an option which is saying that save and open app so that means if i'll just click on this button now what will it will do is it will now create your app so in the other side if you if you saw that is a tablet layout that uh, the app got created but in this case it will create a uh, sorry the previous one it created a mobile layout uh, but this one will create a tablet layout so if you want to have something uh, on this one and in this case if you look at here uh, the data or the table created in the dataverse so that is the thing that you have to remember because here the file is not in an uh, you know uh, in a onedrive or sharepoint or anywhere so that is the thing that you have to remember in this case in this case completely this is on dataverse so you cannot have other uh, you know data sources as of now so only in this case it will be a uh, the tables and all these things will be the data verse. Of course, which is licensing, you need to have license 
uh, to work with that. In the next video also, I will create, uh, you know, how we can use Microsoft Copilot to create apps. So before, um, you know, uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel uh, so that whenever I'll make videos, you will get notified also. So now look at this. I'll, you know, this is the Copilot things I'll, I'll explain in the next video, which we are going to explain about only uh, you know, how we can create an app using Copilot. But uh, today for this one, if you'll see here now, you can see the app now one screen got created on this and look at this. If I'll just, um, you know, uh, run it. So now you can see here now the, uh, you know, this has a different layout uh, comparatively. So in this case, only if you look at this screen, uh, you can search here, you can click on the new, you can, uh, you can see this is the selected item. You can edit, delete from here. I will select the second one. You can see here, third one, it is coming. I can edit. So it will, uh, the items now you can edit it. And then if it is done, you can uh, accept the changes. It will say new. Uh, then you can see there is a new screen. It is coming on the same place. You can see it here. And then you, uh, you can save it or you can close it. So that's how you can do it in this case. So this is also a fully functional app. And this is comparatively, um, you know, um, a little different look and feel. Uh, also the backend is uh, um, that I was in this case. Uh, in the other one, we had the data that was in our one drive. So definitely the second option only you try, you have data words and uh, you are ready for that licensing. Else you can have the Excel file in SharePoint uh, or in OneDrive for business. So you have the other uh, data source options that you can select it, right? So yeah, this is how we can uh, create the apps. So, you know, upcoming videos, we'll see how we can customize and all these things. So make sure to the subscribe to the channel, uh, you know, if you want a similar kind of videos so that you will get notified whenever I'll make uh, videos on Power Apps, Power Automate, uh, you know, Power BI, SPFX, SharePoint, all these uh, technologies. Thank you and have a nice day.